I'm going to show you how to add custom music in WWE 2K25. Special disclaimer that this only works for PC users and not for PlayStation or Xbox consoles. So the first thing you're going to do is open the link in the description that takes you to the Smack Talks website. Then scroll down and unhide the content section for downloads. So you're going to click the first link to download the sound editor. The other two links are just additional files required for the program to work. Please install these two files first before the sound editor. It's very straightforward. I already have these two other files installed, so I'm just going to go ahead and download the sound editor. Once that's done, go to your downloads and open the sound editor XC file. You're going to get this prompt. Just click more info then run anyway. You're going to get another prompt. Just click yes. My screen turns black while recording it. Now we're going to install it. Just agree to the terms, click next on everything and let the process begin. Once it's done, make sure launch sound editor is checked and click finish. If an update window appears on the screen, just click update. If it doesn't, that's fine. Once you have it launched, click file, then open. So this is where the sound files are located for WWE 2K25. You have to go through this exact file path to open them. Let me show you how I get there. Okay, so now we're back in the sound folder again. Let's start replacing some music. We're going to use the music 8 pack file. But before we replace anything, I need to show you guys something. Go to the settings tab and open it. At the time of this video, the database for this program is set to WWE 2K24. These sound files are being read as 2K24 files, meaning some of them will have the incorrect name. There will most likely be an update in the following weeks to fix this. If you're watching this video way into the future and the database says 2K25, you can ignore this part of the video. Thankfully, the music 8 file we're using has all the correct song names, and plus most of the songs in it are generic ones. So now we're going to add in our custom music. Go to Tools, then Sound Converter. The two key things to focus on here is the export directory and the volume boost. The export directory is where your song will appear once it's done converting. You can click the folder icon to change where it goes. The volume boost is used to increase or decrease the volume of the song. I usually increase it between 5 to 9 decibels because I find the custom music tends to be quiet. Now let's go ahead and convert the song. I'm going to be using Alexa Bliss's spiteful theme as an example for this video. Select your music file to import. My song is located in downloads as an mp3 file. You may not be able to find your song at first, and that's because the program is automatically set to search for WAV files. You can change the search for mp3 files in this corner right here. Once you found your song, you can open it. Before I convert the song, I'm just going to decrease the volume a little bit because Alexa's theme is already quite loud. And now I can process the file. Once it's done, the file location will open and you'll see that your song is converted into a WEM file. Now let's add it into the game. Before I replace the song, I'm just going to right click and play the original song just to confirm it's the correct theme. Sounds about right. So now I'm going to right click again and replace it with Alexa Bliss's theme. Now let's check and see if it's Alexa Bliss's theme. Okay, it's time to finally see if it works in WWE 2K25. So we're gonna go into create an entrance and change Alexa's theme to steal number two, and we're gonna see if it works in game.
all right it works so this is the process you're going to follow to import custom music in wwe 2k25 i just want to say a special and well-deserved thank you to the visitor x for creating this program the sound editor is extremely easy to use and beginner friendly so i couldn't be more grateful if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time